Tell me about that early phase when you just started to get into the all-tackle. I mean, that one year you were just on fire. You won the Gold Cup, the all-tackle. Uh, you won a $15,000 bonefish one day, what, winner 25, take all, $25,000. Yeah. Tell me about that. So we had a, a good run there uh, going. We had caught um, – uh, in that in that twenty five thousand dollar tournament, it was um, a two thousand dollar entry fee. It was kind of like a big gambler's day. Um, one day of fishing, biggest bonefish takes all the money, um, takes the twenty five grand. And um, Jim Bocar and I uh, teamed up, and we had already won the all tackle. Um, and uh, we we would go out there the first flat in the morning. You got you got to pick a flat right right away in the morning because there's 15 other guys trying to do the same thing you're doing and so the whole downtown at the time was filled with with boats and we're within casting distance of some of the other boats so we pull up to my favorite bank start drifting it i pull just a little bit see a tail come up tail it's three feet of water you know and i said well must be a big fish. He tosses the crab out there. And it, in this tournament, you could fish as a guide also. You're fishing as a team um, to try to get the biggest fish. And so Jim says to me, he says, cast, cast, put your cast on. I go, no way. I was afraid that I would mess up his great cast because he had put in just the right place. He was an awesome fisherman. And we were throwing crack crabs. You know, all, all this is all, uh, it's an all tackle tournament. Sure. So everybody was using bait and spin. And um, uh, he, he puts it out there and that fish tails up on, on the crab. And that drag just started screaming. Fish ran longer than I've ever seen a bonefish run. And he went belly up right after that. Like just, whoop, just died. I'm pulling my ass off, you know, get, to get there, pulling as hard as I possibly can. And when I got up there, basically I grabbed the net and scooped him, put him in the live well. We already knew he was big enough. Um, but when I put him in the well, I realized that it looked like he swallowed a softball. His softball in his gut was, was huge, you know? So we, um, took him into weigh him in and this is seven thirty in the morning. First cast, first cast in the tournament, go into weigh him in. He was fifteen eleven. Wow. Largest still to this day, largest, uh, fish caught in a tournament, uh, bonefish. And, um, he, um, we weighed him in. And unfortunately, we couldn't get any good pictures. We got one stupid picture on the way out because we're trying to he's get. He's got to swim away, right. In order for the to, the to fish count. To count. So um, back in the live well, aerators. We had you know the best in the aerators that we could buy. We had three aerators going mm -hmm. at once, and take them out and watch them swim away. And that was it. We we got one stupid picture of that fish but um but it was great great to do it and and we uh we as we go by the other boats on the flats because we we go back to the spot and we sit there you know we, you're not even fishing we don't even have how you gonna how you gonna match that yeah, there's no way you know and and we go by cocker ham and molar and all the guys that were were fishing in the tournament and um i believe brewer was in that too and and we um and they they're like how big because they want to know they what, what they're one. up against. And I go, 15, 11. And their heads just dropped. It was over. And actually, Cockerham in that tournament did catch a 14. And that um, was a $25,000 fish. $25,000 fish. How much did you get of that? I, I, got, I got 12. 12? You split yeah, it with 12, you? 5. Oh, yeah. Awesome. And that, was our, that was our deal. And, um, and the next day, I left for Colorado. Go snowboarding. It was like my celebration.